What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Evan Ulbricht and today we're going to be talking about five tips to make you better in sports photography in five minutes. So let's get it started. So first one is know the sport. So before you start shooting uh, any sport really, basketball, soccer, whatever, you got to know what you're shooting. And I experienced this firsthand. Uh, I started shooting basketball and I'd never really shot anything else before except surf photography and maybe a little bit of football, but I kind of got thrown in there. And I mean, my first year of shooting, it was horrible because I just have never played basketball, never watched basketball, and I just had no idea where the ball was going. It's such a fast paced game. It's just so hard to kind of see where it's going. So that's the first big thing is you have to really know what's happening and really want to see what's happening before it happens so that you can be there uh, and be there for the shot and know what spots are good to be at and know what shots look really cool and kind of where you need to be for that shot. Second one, find interesting angles. So I'll pop up a photo right now and I got that photo and I was standing kind of right in front of the net, right behind it and it was just a really good shot and I would have never been there uh, and it was kind of just a weird place to be really but it turned out insane. Definitely one of my favorite basketball shots because normally I was kind of on the corners of the court but I really wanted to try something new because I felt like all my shots kind of looked the same, which they definitely did uh, until I tried that. And those just looked really good. Definitely one of my favorite shots, a big dunk. And it was kind of just one of those things where it's like right place, right time. But you really have to kind of try to be in different spots to get shots like that. The third one is focus on the eyes. So if you look at my portfolio and I'll put, throw a couple photos up right now, you see that most of my photos, you see their face. And that's super important because you want to see where they're looking, uh, where they're going. If you're in, doing soccer, football, anything, you want to see their face, kind of where their eyes are looking, see the emotion in the shots. Uh, there's some shots where some guy's doing a juke to one side and you can really see the intensity in his face. And that's what really makes a sports shot good is the emotion from that. Uh, and that's what I like shooting about sports is kind of seeing the emotion in that uh, Definitely when you're winning too, obviously But if you score a touchdown or something you really want to get close up and kind of see that guy's face to see his emotion of Celebration and those are really just the best shots uh, Yeah, is the emotion in sports. So make sure you guys focus on that second one is pay attention to lighting so I had to deal with this and it was super brutal but doing basketball in a d2 gym is horrible so the lighting is just none there's no lighting super hard to get photos and I was using a 50 mil f 1.8 with a Canon 70d one of the hardest things I've ever done but you really have to be prepared I guess uh, and go to the spot before check it out make sure you have the lenses that you need make sure you have the equipment you need and I used that 55 millimeter for a whole year and now I have the R5 uh, which I'm filming on right now with a 24 to 70, which makes it so much easier to f 2.8. So the ISO is definitely still high. It was at like 4,000, 3,000 for the shots. But I mean, for the f 1.8, for the uh, 50 mil, it was just super hard because you couldn't zoom in. Uh, so I was editing photos a ton and they were just really false, uh, small file sizes because the I was just zooming in so much and I was losing so much of the quality in the photo. They just looked horrible. So know where you're shooting, know the lighting, kind of scout out places that are gonna look the best and aren't gonna be super backlit and make sure that you're prepared, whether it's lenses, uh, spots to go to that know have better lighting than others and stuff like that. You definitely wanna be prepared because lighting can be one of the worst things that photographers can face uh, or it can be a really good thing too. If you have really good lighting, I've gotten some amazing uh, baseball shots and surf shots, just sunset, just really cool lighting where it was pretty dark, but it didn't really matter because the shots that I took, which I'll throw up right here, just looked really good, really clean. And yeah, just have fun with it, but be prepared for bad lighting because that's one of the worst things that I've personally experienced. And the last one is be patient and stay alert. So this one is kind of for, I guess for everyone, for any sport is just know what spot to be at and wait until the shot that you want comes to you. So it's gonna take time where uh, I would sit at the corner of the court, try to get these threes facing the stands in the background. So he'd be shooting and then the stands would be in the background. And I mean, I shot there for, sat there for games trying to get a certain shot. And eventually I would get it and kind of like switch and try to like perfect that shot. 
but it really takes patience of sitting in that one spot and not just moving around, you know, trying to get a bunch of them. Maybe sometimes that's good too if you've already gotten the shot that you want. But if you really want one shot that looks really good and you kind of have that set in your mind, you really have to be patient for that because sports are just so hectic, so crazy, and it, it can be a lot of times. You really have to be patient and kind of just sit there and wait for the time to be right, for the emotion to be right, and everything to line up. And it could take a couple games or it could take a couple minutes, but being patient and kind of staying alert for that moment is definitely the most important thing. All right, guys, thank you for watching my video. This was a quick one. Just wanted to really help you guys, uh, tell you guys what I learned uh, from doing my sports photography experience and just having bad lenses, bad cameras, bad lighting, and just how I, uh, I could have made that better. So yeah, quick video, hope you guys like it. Uh, please like the video, it really helps me out, it only takes you guys a couple seconds. I know a lot of you guys aren't subscribed, hit the subscribe button too, and stay tuned for more videos like this.